Hola. Me llamo Noel Michaels. Bienvenidos a Noel Chat. Este video se llama Puedo Hablar Español. This is the second video I'm doing on learning Spanish. And puedo hablar español means I can speak Spanish. Yeah, puedo means I can. Hablar means to speak. And español means Spanish. There you go. Puedo hablar español. Practicing that one. Last time, I gave you the verb tengo, which means I have. This time, we're going to use the verb quiero, which means I want. I'll be writing on this board today. Quiero, I want. And we can put something in there. I was thinking about drinks. Quiero leche. Leche means milk. Quiero leche. I want milk. Agua. Water. Quiero Agua. I want water. Just pause the video anytime you want to practice repeating. Hugo. The J in Spanish sounds like an H in English. Hugo. Hugo means juice. Quiero Hugo. I want juice. Ah. I'm not 100% on the spelling. I never really use this word, but I've heard people say it. Quiero soda. And I've heard it said gaseosa. Because it does have those bubbly gas things, doesn't it? Okay, so quiero soda, quiero gaseosa. Now, if you want to be polite, of course, you're going to say por favor afterwards. Quiero leche, por favor. I want milk, please. Right? Por favor means please. Quiero leche, por favor. Quiero agua, por favor. Quiero jugo, por favor. Quiero soda, por favor. Quiero gaseosa, por favor. Now, you can also be more specific. Quiero leche, Chocolate. Chocolate milk. Quiero leche chocolate. Frío. Cold. Quiero agua frío. I want cold milk, cold water. Manzana means apple. De means of. Of apple. Quiero jugo de manzana. I want apple juice.
Yellow is ice. Con means with. Quiero soda con yellow. I want soda with ice. Okay. And then we can squeeze in something else to make the sentence even longer. Un vaso, a glass. I want a glass of chocolate milk. Quiero un vaso de of. Quiero un vaso de leche chocolate. Por favor. I want a glass of chocolate milk, please. See how you can build sentences, guys? This is the way. Let's do some more. Quiero un vaso de agua frío. Por favor. I think I should put a little heart around por favor because it's so sweet to be polite, right? And I hope if you're an adult that you'll share this with your kids. It's an easy way to learn Spanish that they could use at the table, right? Getting ready for a meal. Quiero un vaso de jugo de manzana. Por favor. Quiero un vaso de soda con hielo. Por favor. There you go. That's a good way to do it. And when they get used to saying those things, you can ask them in Spanish, what do they want? Que means what? Que quieres? To want. Que quieres? What do you want? Ah, to. Que quieres a beber? To drink. What do you want to drink? Of course, we need a question mark here, and in Spanish, we start with an upside down question mark. ¿Qué quieres a beber? Now, if it was someone who was an elderly person or someone that was coming to your house as a guest for the first time, you wouldn't use quieres, which is the to form, the familiar form of you you would use something a little more respectful and a little bit more um, polite towards an older or respected person. And you would say, Que quiere, no es, que quiere usted, usted is the more polite form of to. Que quiere usted a beber. What do you want to drink? I think you could probably also do it this way. Que usted quiere. A beber. What do you want to drink? I think either word order would work, as far as I understand. Well, guys, here you have it. I want. I want is quiero. Por favor is please. Milk, water, juice, soda, with ice, of apple, 
cold chocolate. What do you want to drink? There you go. Let me put it straight. Can you see it? I hope this is helpful to you in your little journey to learn a little bit more Spanish. This is our second lesson. Go back and look at the first one if you missed it on the verb tener, I have. That's all for now. This is Noel Michael signing off. I hope you had a good time learning Spanish. And remember, now you can say, Puedo hablar español. Adiós.